Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit today about HTTP versus HTTPS. What's the difference and why I'm doing this video? Because something is going to change this week, and the having an understanding of the differences and how important it is depending on where you are is key to understanding if you're safe or not. So Google Chrome, which is the most popular browser right now, will have a new version tomorrow, it'll be version 68. And what it will actually bring with it is one of the major changes that most people will see. It will let you know that if you're on an HTTP website, so the one without an S, you could be at risk. There could be some danger or, you know, there could be some security problem. And this is, of course, going to have a certain number of people probably a little panic, think that their computer suddenly is un, you know, unsecure, uh, maybe scare off some people saying, hey, I can go to that website. It tells me that it's not secure. So here's the real deal. HTTP is the first protocol that was done for viewing web pages on the Internet. And there's a version that came a little later that added the S at the end of it for secure or security. So the difference is, is when you go to a web page that is only HTTP, it's pretty much what we say is in the clear. Somebody that would be able to um, kind of get into the connection you have with the website would see in the clear everything you look at or that you type. HTTPS websites add a encryption to the website. That means the same person would try to tap into your um, you know, connectivity between the website and your computer, but the difference is now they would not know what you're doing. All they would see is just a bunch of gibberish that means nothing. So it is more secure. It's not the most secure of everything, but it is. it has a, a, a good layer of security to a website. Google has been pushing websites and trying to have them all go to HTTPS for a very simple reason. You might think, well, you know, I don't care if they, um, they see what I do when I go play, you know, a game on the internet or <clears throat> if I read my newspaper. And it might seem like it's not important. For certain things, yeah, it is probably not important. You know, for example, if you go to a game site and you play some games all day, if it's not secure, it doesn't change that much. You know, you're just playing games. It's nothing important. But where it might be is depending on the type of information and what you get. One thing for sure, there's one layer of, of, of security that you want on some pages. If you go to your banking site, uh, here is a PayPal example. If you go to anything that has to do with money, that has to do with very important uh, information, these need to be HTTPS. You should never go to a banking site, for example, or do a transaction without having that layer of security that actually encrypts everything. So there is a level of websites that need to be in HTTPS all the time. Everywhere you go to buy stuff. You know, even your email should always be in HTTPS, even though, even if it might seem like, you know, just simple emails. Everywhere that you actually will fill a, a form of some sort, will give personal details about you, always need to be HTTPS. It's very important. Then there's the middle, the websites that, depending on where and who you are, might be important or not. For example, you might think going to read the news is not important to be secure. Maybe if you're in Canada or, you know, United States or, or UK or France. But if you're in certain parts of the world, the type of news that you read might put you into trouble it might be important for news websites to actually have a secure layer be encrypted to make sure nobody sees what you're doing. So tomorrow, when Google Chrome starts updating, some of you will start seeing a pop-up that's going to say, hey, 
you're on a website that's HTTP, it's not secure. How important that, um, you know, that note, how important that message is, depends, of course, of where you are, and that's the important thing. Understanding when it's important that it tells you, and when it doesn't matter. Or, you know, in the real world, the one that we want, everything should be HTTPS. But to have a secure website requires a certificate that costs a certain amount of money. And a lot of websites don't pay or don't want to pay for that. Some websites don't have the money to pay for that. So if you upgrade to Chrome tomorrow and you get this warning, just look at where you are. Are you on a you know, gaming site where all you do is play you know, games all day? You know, the security aspect of that is less important than if you're on a banking site. If it would give you that message on a banking site, then you know now it's dangerous. And it's important to try to make the difference of where it's, you know, a security threat and where it's not. And unfortunately, a lot of people won't understand that much of a difference. But they'll just say, oh, well, you know, I'm unsecure. But that said, it's also a good move because it will force a lot of websites to move on to HTTPS, to move on to a secure layer, which is a very good thing. And uh, especially when you are, you know, um, depending on where you are in the world, but also, you know, if you use uh, public Wi-Fi, for example. So um, just keep in mind that there are websites where it's more important than others. Some must have any banking sites anywhere where you do a transaction, buy stuff online. You should always be secure, HTTPS. If you're on a game site, you know, or any website that has nothing important, you know, if you're reading about flowers, it's not necessarily that important to have a secure layer, but it's still, you know, not a bad idea for these websites to actually adopt a secure layer. And, um, you know, for the rest, um, just make sure that you understand where it's important, where it's not. And keep in mind that you'll start having, you know, maybe pop-ups on some websites. Um, for example, here I've got a, a local news site, which is one of the important news sites in uh, Quebec. And uh, they're not on secure layer, which is, you know, appalling when you think that a lot of news websites. But, you know, there's a lot of websites in the United States that also have not moved to secure. So uh, that's kind of interesting. And, uh, you know, hang in there and just, when you, if you see that pop-up appear, don't worry. Look at where you are. If it appears on a, a, a banking site, that's a problem. If it appears on, you know, whatever website you're going to to read on, you know, a subject or play games, maybe it's not as important. It all depends where you are. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.